Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav from automationstepbystep.com and in today's session we are going to learn how to share our IntelliJ project on GitHub. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and step number one is we will first create a free account on github.com in case you already have an account you can use that. So if you do not have an account just go to github.com and here we will have an option to sign up. So if you want to create a new account, you can click on sign up. And once you have created an account, you can do a sign in. So in my case, I have an account. So I will do a sign in. And I will use my username and password to sign in. And this logs into my GitHub account. Now in my case, you can see some old repositories here. If you have created a new account, you will not find these old repositories here. We have a button to create a new repository. You can also create a new repository from here. And for now, we just have to create an account and log into our GitHub. That is step number one. Step number two is now we can go to our IntelliJ IDEA and then open a project. And then from the project menu, go to VCS and select share project on GitHub. So here, I will go to my IntelliJ and this is a project that I want to add to GitHub. So you can see there is a VCS menu at the top. You can click here. Now just in case you do not find this VCS menu and you see a Git menu, uh, that means Git is already enabled on your IntelliJ and just in case you want to remove that, you can go to your file and go to settings and here when you go to version control, you will see some root folder or some directory here if you remove that from here you will then get vcs here so click on vcs and then i will select share project on github so this is the option that we will use share project on github and once you do that you can give some repository name so i can say this is my uh, rest assured project or I can just say IntelliJ and whatever project name you want to give or whatever repository name you want to give in your GitHub, the same name will be created. The repository with the same name will be created here and you can name your remote. I'm saying origin. If you want to add any description, this is optional. You can do that. And then here, if you have not added your GitHub account, on IntelliJ, you will first need to add an account. So click on add account and you can say login via GitHub or login with token. I will say login via GitHub and here I will say authorize in GitHub. And yes, this is done just in case it sends you any uh, email for some authentication token. You can check that and you can add it. And once this is done, I will click on share so this will create the repository and you can see once you have done this if you go to your github and refresh you will see the repository created so you can see this repository is created just now that is intellij rest assured project and if i go inside this repository as of now you can see this is empty there is there are no files no folder no project here so it has created a empty repository as of now and now we will have to add and commit the files and then finally push the files so here we have also done step number three in case you get a login window to github you can also provide your github login credentials and that will login you to github and then we have already checked that the repository is created on github now step number five is we will select the files that we need to commit to our remote repository on github so generally we do not need the configuration files although it depends on you whatever you want to add to the remote repository generally we can remove the configuration file and also the uh, test files so i'm just removing these otherwise they will take a lot of space and they are not required for me as of now there is a git ignore file the git ignore file contains the location of the files and folders that you do not want to commit so this also you can check and you can select all that you want to commit and unselect 
whatever you do not want to com commit and then give a commit message so here it is saying initial commit i will say one you can keep it as it is or just give your message and click on add and here i will also add the dot git ignore file and here there is some issue let me check what does it say okay so here i will need to provide i will need to push and then i will check again so at this moment you can also go to your settings so go to your settings and under version control you can check here so we have all these options and here we have background change commit all this is here this should be fine if i go to github so github my account is already added here so this is fine just in case you want to remove or add a new account you can add from here so this should be fine and now if you press alt and 9 key on your keyboard or command plus 9 key if you're on mac you will also see this version control window where you can see all the earlier commits and logs and console so this will show you the console this will show you all the logs so in case of the in my case you can see all these options and i can now go to git menu so you can see git is here and then i can now push i have already committed i will try to push so this is the next step i can do a git push so i will do git i'll go to git and say push Control shift k is the shortcut and let me see if i can push here or if i make any changes so we have it this dot git ignore file here i will say git commit again and if i want to make any changes i can make them here so i will say my first commit and i can say commit and push directly here as well okay so here i am i can add my github credentials so i will say this is my username and i will give the email that i have used on github as well and i will say set and commit and let's now just check if i go to my repository and refresh as of now i have not got the files here i will now again say okay i will say commit anyway and push they, there were some warnings but i just want to commit for now i will check the warnings and errors later so i am now pushing it and now it says push to master and if i now refresh my repository you can see the data has come here so i can see all these files here everything is here so now my project is added on a repository on github and now whenever i make any changes i can do the same thing i will get this option to select the files to commit and then i can do a commit and push so this is how i can do a commit and push every time i make a change and then we have already added that all the files are now added to the remote repository on github so this is how you can share and add a project on a github repository from intellij i hope this was very useful for you please do hands on if you have any issues or any questions let me know and i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning